I'm originally from Langford, South Dakota. I grew up on a farm about five miles from that little town. Went to a rural school through eighth grade, then went to high school in the little town of Langford for four years, and then on to college at Northern in Aberdeen. My first year of teaching, um, yes, in that we were uh, five students from two families, two boys and two boys and a sister. Um, the year before, the boy, one of the boys with the two brothers had tried to bring the school down, but he was a nice little boy as far as I was concerned. I knew his folks too, and that I think made a difference for someone. So I have good memories of those early years of teaching as well as later years. Um, in the 50s, mid 50s, and started teaching at Roosevelt, and then uh, eventually at Lincoln on the south side. And that's where I was teaching when I retired. How many years did you teach for? Oh, I can't, I can't really tell you. <laughs> but many years of teaching, I took time off uh, uh, to finish and get my master's. But uh, there were many, many years of teaching. But there are lots of good, good memories. Uh, sure, there were times when I was upset too by things that would go on. But as a whole, it was a pleasant, wonderful experience. Oh, it's less than a year now. I mean, I haven't been here a year yet. Soon getting close to that. And I like it. <laughs> well, I enjoyed going to do some craft work. I'm kind of interested in various types of that. And just visiting, going to the coffee shop and having coffee. <laughs> a cup of coffee and a cookie in the afternoon. <laughs> And uh, no, it's good. And sometimes I've gotten quite close to two other women, and we'll have coffee in the evening and play, play some cards and things like that. Patience. And, um, and it's so important to enjoy and love the work that you're doing. <laughs>